Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. Today, a tough challenge in this Taskmaster video. Brother Monroe, Spartan Elite and myself are tasked with sinking an Italian battleship from 1930. We can use any type of combination of ships that we like, so long as it's heavy cruiser, light cruiser or destroyer. But, there's always a but because it's Taskmaster. The objective is sinking the enemy battleship. That will get you 10 points. If you do so without using a torpedo, it's going to give you an additional 5 points. So that way, you, there is a total of 15 points up for grabs. But it's not all. Because if you use a heavy cruiser, it's going to cost you 3 points. If you use a light cruiser, it's going to cost you 2 points. And it's going to cost you a point to, guild, or to get a destroyer. So if I have a fl uh, fleet composition like this, it's 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 6 points is what I'm going to be already down essentially the whole point of course is moot if you don't sink the enemy battleship because then you don't get any points you're gonna essentially have negative points but since we don't really do that it's not like you're gonna have a sub-zero score so that means i have to sink battleship um if this was earlier than 1930 i would probably do it with stealth destroyers which means big guns on destroyers and just make them as tiny as possible so that the enemy battleship cannot even see them. That works in early ages. Early era battleships are blind. 1930 era battleships are not blind. They can in fact see you and most likely will. And on top of that, they have the potential of bringing some really big guns. Um, let's go with a group of three light cruisers. This means I've already spent six points. I'm not going to use torpedoes because torpedoes are a massive gamble. I don't think that that's any use. Let's make these large light cruisers. And I don't care about the range. I do care about the crew training. I also want to make sure that they can take a hit and not immediately surrender, which is something that they tend to do. All the anti-floods, all the bulkheads. Hmm. I'm thinking turboelectric drive so I can slow down fast, but the enemy generally doesn't have battleship or doesn't have torpedoes on battleships, and if they do, it's short range. So let's go for this, unless this is lighter, but it's not, it's heavier. Okay, auxiliary engine to deal with repairs, although if something really big hits this ship, it's probably just going to blow it up. Let's go for slightly better steering. I want a balanced rudder so I can steer at speeds. Yeah, this is fine. Main tower. The modern tower one. No, sorry, modern tower four. Secondary tower. I'm just going to go for as much accuracy, as base accuracy as possible, because long range accuracy for the secondary tower doesn't exist. It does here with main, uh, modern tower four. I'm going to get a generation two radar, and I'm going to get stereoscopic range finding. I... Don't really care about radar, but it is nice to have it anyway. Let's make it 35 knots. Let's throw a funnel in. And set this to forced. 96% efficiency. Good enough. I get some smoke interference. It's not that bad. Unless I go for something like this. 14.2. Engine efficiency 95. No, we're going to go for balanced. Here we go. Fair enough. And now the big question. What do I arm this ship with? I really do not want to get within about 9.8 kilometer range of a ship like that. The way I see it, you have a few options to get rid of this battleship. You burn it down. Or you just chug so much HE at it that it eventually dies. And you just reduce their structural integrity to none. Which means really, really high-end secondary, really high-end primaries. Or some relatively small primaries, which just fire very quickly. If I try option A, um, that means if I put these on autoloaders and electrics, and definitely going to need more shells than that. Uh, yes, super heavy. I need more HE damage. I don't care about that. I do care about this. And I'm hoping that this way I can damage their superstructure. And essentially, 
cause so much damage to the superstructure that the ship just succumbs to it. I would like to get 20% longer barrels. And that means reload 7.7 .7 seconds. Pretty good. Rate of fire, 7 shells per minute. Okay. Okay. And I could just add a few more of these guns. Probably... Something like this. That would give me 18 guns per light cruiser. Giving me a total of 54 guns. It might work. It might work. Alternatively, you don't go for capped shells, you go for incendiaries. And you just spam the shit out of that thing. You just burn it down. That means I'm still firing super heavy shells. It just means that I'm not going to rely upon trying to deal as much high explosive damage. Just set as many fires as possible. I think this is more interesting, albeit potentially a bit cheesy. But hey, it has to work. That's the biggest issue. It has to work. Uh, let's get 0.5 inches on the superstructure. Surely I can get another turret in here. Uh, put this here. What? What do you mean no mounts? Have the mounts of... Bar... Why are there no <laughs> light cruiser barbettes in 1930? What is that nonsense? Hmm. Um. Four inch, four inch, four inch, four inch. After weight offsets a bit high. It's better. Make these things longer and just upsize them. Now it's essentially a five inch gun. For all intents and purposes, it's a five inch gun. But I believe the turret is just slightly smaller. Yeah. This four incher can still rotate. The five incher could not, which is rather important if you want to have something actually shoot. So, um, 14.4 range, reload 6.4, 9.32 rounds a minute. This, 7.75. Should be enough, right? You'd think so. Uh, the enemy battleship's going to have, hmm, I don't know, a lot of firepower. So here's the plan. Don't get hit. Easy, right? Don't get hit. How do you not get hit? You go very, very, very quick. Force the boilers. 64% only? Ah, that's way too heavy. You're gonna need something a little bigger than that. It might mess with my accuracy, but I just need to throw as many high explosive shells at the target. I don't really care about my accuracy. 87. Good enough. We're slightly over. If I reduce the beam, the turrets are going to fall off, so let's make 39 knots. After weight of set slightly higher than I would like, but it's not that bad. I should be able to balance it by adding a bit more fore belt or reducing the aft belt. There we go. 126,270,500 bucks for one of these light cruisers. This is the buzz nut. Let's see if the buzz nut can do it. Unless I go with a lower draft. Yes. I'm definitely going to make that change because a lower draft means a smaller target profile. Smaller target profile, more difficult to hit. Okay, let's go. One Italian battleship. Just the one. Fortunately, we can already see it. I'm not sure if it can already see us. That is 15.2 inch guns. Are they rotating? They're not rotating. They're not aiming at me. That's good. That's really, really good. My range? 16.7, 14.4. We're definitely going to need to get a bunch closer than this. 
Bad news as we're closing in because the Bosna has been detected. So has the Bludens. And we still need about two to four kilometers to get into range, depending on how many guns I want to be able to aim at that ship. Are you shooting back? Not yet. Now keep in mind, I'm doing 39 knots on a relatively small platform. So I'm presenting myself as a really difficult to hit target. So now we're going to start flinging high explosive at the target. Just go sideways. And let's see if we can burn this guy down. Fires three, four, five. Oh crap, I didn't upgrade the turret rotation speed. Seven, nine fires. If I cannot burn it down, I might burn off the crew. That too would work. Twelve fires. Hunsberg also firing, just not yet with the fours. The ship is starting to lose structure, uh, structural integrity. Not quickly? Doesn't need to go quickly. I have thousands and thousands of shells. 3,600 high explosive shells for the 5 incher. About double that for the 4.9. 7. Sorry, 10 fires. Main guns taking damage. I gotta say, it's not a very elegant way of doing business, but it is probably gonna work. Because this ship probably cannot keep up with diminishing the fires. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fires, I think. They've lost 20% of the crew? What? Bulkheads. Many. 24% of crew. Oh, this is just dirty. This is just dirty. This thing hasn't even tried to shoot back. I got a coincidence rangefinder, a radar, TNT, two powder. Seriously, this hits me. I'm dead. Look at that pen. 31% of crew lost. Dude, at least try. 50% damage instability, yeah. Because they're constantly on fire. It's not like they're able to compensate because every time that they try, the ship just takes more and more damage. Interestingly, the amount of damage by fire is not even that great. Wow. Superstructure, 0 0.2. Yeah, that's a pretty poor choice if you're dealing with light cruiser explosive spam like this. 37% crew lost. 38. Wow, this is... I think this needs to get patched out. Of course, having the battleship disengage is not doing itself any favors. This is just going way too fast. 43% crew lost. They're even flooding? 44. This thing is going to surrender. 45. Done. I haven't taken a single shot? This was weird. This was very unexpected. I thought I'm going to lose at least a cruiser. I didn't take a single hit. I didn't lose a single crew member. Wow. Okay. So, attempt successful. Uh, I sunk the enemy battleship, plus 10 points. I did so without using torpedoes, plus 5 points. And I used four, uh, sorry, 3 CLs for that, so that is minus 2 points per light cruiser for a total of 9 points for me this week. As a bit of a bonus, because I think the video is going to be a bit short, I'm going to switch to the other shell type. CPBC, Common Pointed Ballistic Capped. And see if I can make that work. Because I want to see if this type of shell will do the battleship faster or slower. It's not going to set as many fires. It's just going to do more high explosive spam, essentially. Let's see if this works. Also, I think for the high explosive spam, I wasn't even using the right... Or for the... the the, the burn it down tactic I just deployed. I wasn't even using the right powder. The right propellant. Okay. What you got this time? 
Triple barrels. 14 and a half. I don't think they've seen me yet, but that's not really required. Range is 18.2. Okay, so these CPBC shells can travel farther. 15.7 on the high explosives for the 4.9 inches. There, now I've been spotted. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Let's start gently turning to port so we can start to bring our guns to bear and be fully broadside by the time that thing gets close enough. High explosive only. Commence firing when you're ready. Shall spawn. Phew, thirty-two percent on the first salvo. Go on. Reload. 7.7. 7. Reload's good enough. Bend over. Here it comes again. The high explosive spam once again. The amount of fires that I'm setting, probably far lower. And I am well aware of the RNG aspect here, because if this battleship has anything that looks like superstructure armor, this will not fly. Because I'm engaging this thing at maximum range, 15 kilometers out, which means I have a high explosive pen of half a or half an inch. Oh no, hold on, it's working. It's working all right. Ship appears to be on fire, but not that badly. Once again, they're just. Running? I don't understand. I should be within secondary range. 8.1 inch guns and torpedoes. We've destroyed a secondary gun. Must be a small one. Come on, I really don't want to have the game do this. I want to see the battleship at least try to shoot back. But I think that because I made a very small ship, and a very fast ship, they don't even bother. Chance to hit is none? Hit chance, top left, 0, 0.0. Target fast speed, minus 95%. Yeah, this is how you fuck up a battleship with a bunch of light cruisers. And it's not like this thing has much of a choice. Because if it decides it wants to go after me, it can only do so at 23 knots. And I can do about 50% more. So I can dictate the range of the engagement. And at this rate, the ship might not burn down. But its crew pretty damn well will. 38.6, 38.7, And the, the bad thing is, I could probably do this with a destroyer as well. Look at this guy. This is insane. Ship has taken 1,200 hits. It's down to 42% crew loss. 43. Come on. At least finish it then. Don't let them suffer like this. 43 and a half. 63,000 ton battleship. It's not a small guy. Big. Big battleship. 44. Oh, I am not a fan of this crew surrendering gang. Okay? Because you can abuse the shit out of this just there. Just my high explosive spam. This is not how I want to play this game. It is just too effective. Let's see if I can get it done with one destroyer. Modern destroyer, yes. Just make it a big guy. In the sense that I want the biggest hull that you can get. 
Uh, yeah, this, this. I essentially don't have to upgrade much anyway, because they're not going to hit me. If they see me at all. Okay. Uh, best long range accuracy, this. Best long range accuracy, this. Funnel, this. Let's go and make this thing, I don't know, 39 knots, 40 knots. Destroyers are even easier to make fast. Hold on. That's 300 tons. We're not going to go that fast. Triple barrel, 5 inch. Of course, for destroyers, the casemate has been invented. Because of reasons. Now, with this ship, I am forced to take torpedoes. I can just opt to not use them. I can say, you know what? Yes, I'll have your torpedo just because the game is forcing me to have them. Doesn't mean I have to actually use them. Um, if I rotate this, I can just park it here. There we go. Okay, beautiful position for a torpedo launcher. Give me radar. Give me a better rangefinder. Super reload. Um, Picric acid is even more likely to burn him down. Let's try for that. Two powder. Incendiary shells. Super heavies. Max HE. Increased cap. Some fields, or some guns have poor field of fire. Really? Like one tick over there. Okay. Can I do it with a destroyer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight five inch guns. Just need to make them longer so I can actually hit something. I don't care about armor. Because he's not going to hit me. Speed is armor on these things. Whatever. Who needs bulkheads anyway? Some parts are badly placed. Oh, this thing is now too big. That's better. Okay. Bit four weight offset. Shouldn't be too bad. Now, again, the second attempt that you saw and this attempt, they're just for me. They're not for the challenge. I already completed the challenge. I got nine points there. This is just a bit of bonus. Enemy to the north. Let's head to the north. Don't throw torpedoes overboard. Interestingly, this time... Ah, I can't see him. He, I can't see him now. 16-7, yes. So tell me. What the fuck? How did you put 19-inch guns on a battleship from 1930? That's pretty insane. Okay. Whatever, you do you. I'll do my high explosive trick. And we'll see who comes out on top. I think it's going to be my little destroyer. Their current chance to hit? None. Just flat none. I'm too fast. They're still range finding. They just can't do anything. Range, 16-7. High explosive only. Should be going this way, actually. Otherwise, I'm going to make it... Yeah, I would lose range. They're already losing crew, of course. The ship's on fire. Oh, I really hope that this does not make it into the final version of 1.06. It's just turning into World of Warships with HE spam. I think we can do better than that. <laughs> you thought the Akazuki in World of Warships was bad. No, sir. This is worse. Eight fires. Nine. It does look spectacular, though. I'll grant you that much. Ten fires. Are the fires sticking? Or are you putting them out quickly? Quickly? Quickly. Quickly. Like you're a duck. Quickly. Destroyed a torpedo launcher? Damaged main guns? 16-8. We're out of range. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not good, because it means he's going to put down the fires. I don't want him to. Get over here. Seventy-five percent ID, seventy-six. There you go. Fires are set again. 
82. No. This is this is gonna work. This would give you 14 points. Because yes, you have to have a torpedo launcher on the ship. You just turn it off and you avoid the uh well, you, you still get the five points because you killed the battleship without using torpedoes. You just had to have them on the ship. Otherwise the destroyer wouldn't launch. Look at this thing. 9% crew lost. Fire damage, 400. I might not overwhelm him. Like, extensive fire issues. But I'm definitely burning the crew away. For some reason, all of his guns have taken damage. Despite my utter inability to do any kind of effective damage with HE. It's just fires. And I have 5,000 shells. If the Katyusha from yesterday was a floating bomb, this is potentially worse. This is a floating ammo rack. Just that it's slightly less likely to explode. Crew? Spacious. Apparently I'm doing a lot of damage to the secondary guns because they're losing a lot of crew for the secondaries. And again, this battleship because it has such a poor chance to hit, is not even trying. I'm not understanding, by the way, why this thing has two names. So yeah, if given enough patience, you can do this with one destroyer. This is a $377 million warship, minus 43. Uh, why would you have battleships in a campaign if you have this? It's just despicable. That's my biggest concern. It's it's despicable. It's just high explosive spam. It, there's no tactic. There's no strategy. There's no thinking required. All I'm doing is... Actually, I'm not doing anything. Let's just double click on the ship. So it follows it. Let's make sure it doesn't get too close. Like that. And now I can just roll back and just essentially go AFK. Because I just don't have to do anything. I'm now sitting half a meter away from my computer. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to angle. I don't have to launch torpedoes. I don't have to figure out which type of ammo to use. No. And the problem is, I try to make my ships as efficient as possible during the campaign, right? So, if I can just HE spam a ship to death like this, it would make for an incredibly efficient playthrough to essentially get the best destroyers that you can with the biggest guns, which is... Well, I could even make these bigger. It's five currently. I can make it 5.9 inch. And you just HE spam the enemy battleships to death. It would make for terribly boring videos because you just... You just don't have to do anything. You just don't have to do anything. Also, their secondary guns apparently are almost all gone. They're not destroyed. It's just that the crew has decided to abandon the secondaries because they're <laughs> there's just not enough crew left. Twenty-four percent crew lost. Yeah, I, I have what? How many shells? Three thousand shells left. Easy, easy. The only thing you gotta do is make sure you sort of stay closer to the ship. That's all. So yes, yeah, so even with a destroyer, you could pull this off. And I wonder if Spartan or Brother have done that. Linked down below in the description are their attempts. Re let me know what your thoughts are on this HE debacle down below in the comments. Uh, I for one hate it, and I'm interested to see what you guys are thinking. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the Taskmaster challenge nonetheless, and I'll see you next week for the next challenge.